Jordan and Eliana TV. It's a sunny day, and guess where we're going? Splash Park. Let's go! It's a water blast party. Who can dodge the splash? Oh no, here comes the mega spray attack. Everybody run. Too late. Next video.
next video. Jordan is carefully designing and building his very own house and garage using colourful magnetic tiles, combining creativity and construction as he brings his imaginative blueprint to life. Whilst Jordan builds his beautiful house with a garage, let me tell you this story about magnetics. The Great Magnetic Rescue In a bright and bubbly land called Magnetica, everything was powered by invisible magnetic forces. The houses clicked together like puzzles, the cars hovered slightly above the ground thanks to magnetic rails, and even the flowers twitched and wiggled when magnets got too close. Living in the middle of this magical world was a curious and clever boy named Jordan the Builder. Jordan loved creating things out of magnetic blocks. Big houses, garages, rocket towers, and even a magnetic zoo. Though the magnetic lion kept sticking to the magnetic sheep, which caused quite the mess. One sunny morning, Jordan was building a two-story garage with a helicopter pad on top, when his best friend, a small bouncy robot named Sparky, rolled in, beeping wildly. Beep boop bop, emergency, emergency. What's wrong, Sparky? Jordan asked, dropping a magnet mid-air. The rainbow bridge to the playground collapsed. The children are stuck on one side, and the ice cream truck is on the other side. It's melting, Jordan gasped. Not the ice cream. Without hesitation, Jordan tossed his magnetic toolbox into his backpack and jumped onto his hover scooter. As they zipped through Magnetica, they passed magnet-powered fountains, floating garden pots, and even a magnetic cow floating slowly across a meadow. No one really knew how it got up there. Finally, they reached the broken bridge. The river sparkled below, and the children were waving from the far side, holding empty ice cream cones. We have to help them, shouted a girl. Our sprinkles are blowing away. Jordan got to work. He laid down a long metal beam across the riverbank. Click, went the first magnetic block. Clack, went the second. Bzzzt, said Sparky, who accidentally got too close and stuck his whole arm to the side. As Jordan built, the magnetic blocks zoomed toward each other like they wanted to help. Magnets love teamwork, Jordan whispered. But then, disaster. One of the blocks flew too far and landed right on top of the ice cream truck's engine. It magnetized the controls, and the truck started spinning in circles, playing loud music and firing whipped cream into the air. Ah! screamed the ice cream man. Wee! laughed the kids. Jordan had to act fast. He reached into his backpack and pulled out a magnet reverser, a device he had invented last week when his spoon got stuck to his forehead. He pressed the button, zap, and the magnet on the truck gently released. The ice cream truck stopped and the crowd cheered. Jordan finished the magnetic bridge just in time. The kids ran across, grabbing scoops of ice cream with double sprinkles. Even the magnetic cow floated down to get a cone. Sparky saluted. Mission complete. You are now officially Jordan the Magnetic Master. Jordan smiled. All in a day's work. From that day on, anytime something in Magnetica needed fixing, whether it was a flying teapot or a wobbly rocket slide, everyone knew just who to call. Because magnets may be small, but with the right hands and a brave heart, they can do big things. And just when Jordan finished building the mighty magnetic city, guess who made it even better? That's right, oh, Eliana the Explorer. She added the tallest tower, fixed the wobbly wall, and even spotted a secret door no one else saw. Because in Magnetica, every great builder needs a brilliant partner. And together, Jordan and Eliana make the perfect magnetic team. Yeah, go in. No! Mm. 
Eesh. Hello? Look at this. Dad, don't you like it? Yes. One, two, three. Let's do it destroy it now. Like and subscribe.